Hi everyone, I'm Monty, the CEO and founder of Valor. In this video, we'll show you how you can earn an additional 200% when selling appreciated assets. Walk you through a case study of a client who chose to sell their appreciated assets in a charitable remainder trust to generate these types of returns. So let's get started. Annie is an engineering manager at Coinbase and lives in the Bay Area. Annie joined the company around the time of its Series C. Since then, she's accumulated a number of shares in the company. Those shares are currently worth about $5 million. If Annie sells her shares outright in her name, she'll owe a little over $1.6 million in taxes. Instead, Annie chose to sell her assets in a lifetime NIMCRUT to avoid those upfront taxes and create more wealth for herself over the course of her lifetime. Quick note, if you want to learn more about the terms like lifetime and term trust or NIMCRUTs and standard cruts, you can check out our videos on those topics. Now back to Annie's situation. Annie will receive an immediate charitable tax deduction, about 10% of the current value of the assets she puts into the trust, or in this case, $500,000. That'll help her reduce her taxes now and save more money for her to create more wealth for herself in the long run. But most importantly, Annie gets to defer all the taxes, state and federal, when selling her Coinbase shares and invest that saved money inside of the charitable remainder trust to create more wealth for herself. You may be wondering how much money will, can Annie pull out of the trust and can she pull out of the trust over its entire term? Every year, she'll have access to a growing share of money starting as soon as she sells her assets. Every year after, Annie will be able to cash out a set percentage of the trust's current value. In the year she sells her equity, Annie will receive about $300,000. Now, if Annie doesn't take any distributions, let's say until year five, in year five, she'd be able to pull out more than $1.6 million. And if she did the same thing, but waited until year 10, she'd be able to pull out more than $4 million, assuming an 8% growth rate. That's more than enough for the Tahoe cabin or home remodel that Annie has been dreaming about. Now, overall, over the course of her life, Annie will take about $41 million in payouts from the Cheryl Rainer Trust. About 17 million of that will go to the charity of her choice, leaving Annie with 24 million. You're probably wondering how does that compare to if she had done nothing? If Annie had kept the money in her regular taxable investment account, she would have only ended up with about $6.6 .6 million after taxes, assuming the same distribution schedule. Or in other words, even after making a very generous donation to charity, Annie still pockets an extra $17 million for herself, all because she put her Coinbase shares into a charitable remainder trust before selling them. So all comes from the simple fact that your assets will grow faster and create more wealth for yourself if they grow and are sold inside of tax exempt structures compared to taxable structures. Now, a quick word about Valor. We've built a platform to give everyone access to the tax planning tools of billionaires like Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and others. We make it simple and seamless to pick the best strategy set up and administer these structures at a fraction of the cost of competitors. I really hope you found this video useful. If you still have any questions, please visit our website at valor, V-A-L-U-R I-O, where you can read more content on the subjects, play with our online calculator to discover your potential financial gains, or schedule a call with us.